Hello, I'm Jeff Gold, and thank you so much for being with us today on this very special segment of Under the Microscope. Today we're joined by Mr. Daniel Serfati, who's the Chief Executive Officer and the founder of Aptima. Daniel, thank you so much for being with us today and to giving us a little bit of your time. So you recently joined us for our annual Breakthrough Thinking Conference, and you talked about the role of artificial intelligence and the role of robotics and big data and how that might affect the future of education, specifically in the health professions. And so maybe for this audience, you would just recap some of those thoughts because your talk was so inspiring. Thank you. I'm, I'm absolutely delighted to be here. This is my second time at UNMC and I enjoy very much the first time. So, Well, uh, we're glad to have you back. I'm sure you know that. <laughs> um, I think we, we find ourselves in, a, in an extraordinary time. Um, and I, um, I'm looking at my 16-year-old twins and I try to imagine what will be going to college before them. How will they learn, even if they choose a profession that is a, a well-known profession, engineering or, or, or law school, will they or learn... Or heaven be forbid in the health professions, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if there is still something left for humans to do then. <laughs> uh, whether, whether or not they're going to learn in a different way. The, where, where are the sources of knowledge? What are, what, are, what are the pedagogical approaches? How the presence of all this automated system, all this autonomous system, all these artificial intelligence systems are going to affect the way they learn and the way they perform as human beings. And so um, I believe that what is happening is in many professions, including the medical profession, the pace of knowledge generation is getting large, bigger, and is outpacing our ability to learn. Mm -hmm. Um, in some profession, it's already happening. In, uh, if you are a software engineer, your knowledge becomes obsolete within 18 months of graduating. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's true in many of the health professions as well. Yeah. And so the questions for the first time is how do we catch up with all this knowledge? And do we need to use actually artificial intelligence and data analytics to be able to select and do almost what I would call precision learning mm -hmm. to just in time what you need to know and no more than that. Mm -hmm. Sort of on the job training. Sort of on the job training but in, a, in an accelerated way mm -hmm. uh, because some skills are going to decay and somebody sure. needs to know that those skills are decaying and the somebody may be actually the big data in. Uh, cloud in the sky. In a sense, it's almost like the, the way I imagine that is that we will all be going through life with um, electronic learning records, very akin to our electronic medical records that mm -hmm. are following mm -hmm. us everywhere we go. Yeah. And those electronic learning records will not be just an accounting system, will be a very powerful cognitive system that will know when we need to refresh a particular skill mm -hmm. and will point us to the source of that knowledge, or the source of that, of, of that uh, skill refresh. Well, Daniel, thank you so much for joining us today on this segment of Under the Microscope and for participating in our annual Breakthrough Thinking Good. It is, it is really my pleasure. And thank you for joining us today as well. Mm -hmm.